Welcome back, folks. I just thought I'd take you through a wee three to one, three to one today. Um, I'm going to briefly run through it and why I done it, and what 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 the reasons were for the timing that I done it. And so, just going to start here in the daily. As you can see, the market has today pushed up. It's taken out these highs here. <clears throat> it had already taken out these highs. And I had this marked in the previous video you would have seen to take out this high because I expected to run into this for value gap here. Um, I'm only going to mark it out quickly just so you get an idea. I expect to run into this for value gap at some point. If not, I was looking for the market to maybe break these lows and roll over and start maybe coming down and taking out these lows and these lows and even this low. <clears throat> but there's no signs out yet, so bullish is the bass. So I'll just break it down. I'm going to go down into the four hour now. Quick look at it. Um, this was the candle that really broke the market here, as you can see. It wasn't again four hour. I'm not, you know, a massive. There's no, I don't want to start off saying like four hours useless. It's not. It's absolutely vital, I think. But it's not something I heavily rely on. Um, but it is something I will always take a quick look at. So the four hour up to this point here was messy. It never really told me personally much. I didn't really feel that is the market going to roll over or is it going to push up. <clears throat> So I went down into the one hour to see if I could find a little bit more information. Um, as you can see, sell side liquidity had marked out. There's buy side liquidity here. Again, the one hour, very choppy. Because it's coming in the news today was the US CPI, uh, Consumer Product ind or Index. Um, <clears throat> it's always big news. It always moves the market. A lot, as you can see here, the market pushed within that hour, you know, 161 pips roughly. And I just wanted to wait after that. So that's half eight New York time, half one UK time, London time. So nothing interested me in the London kill zone. And I said I would look for an entry in the New York kill zone. So from seven o'clock to 10 o'clock. New York time, so we're down in the 15 minute. <clears throat> 15 minute, you can see at half eight, half eight here, that the market had pushed really high after the you know the CPI news in the US, and it kind of pushed a lot to the point where I thought, well, we might see a retracement because, again, just quickly into the four hour, <clears throat> just to say, market broke this high over here on a run into that daily fair value gap if you remember so i look for signs that we might see a short-term sell <clears throat> which it did now, i didn't look at the 15 minute to give me my reason to think we would get a short-term sell here i went to the five and whenever i seen this structure being broken in this candle i thought to myself okay maybe now we will see a retracement and an impulse downwards so i went down to the one minute straight after that <clears throat> you can see the structure is broken up here we printed <coughs> a fair value gap And also printed a fair value gap here, which is what I used to enter. <clears throat> this one I made aware of because if it had broke this, then I would have admitted I was wrong and probably close the trade. But if you remember from yesterday's trade, I learned that just because the market run up quick, and I'd run into this quick. I was going to wait this time 
for the candle closure, the one-minute candle closure before he made a decision. And it reacted how I wanted it to see it react. So, again, I entered on this candle. I'm going to run into this for a value gap. And um, we had a bit of drawdown, which was, I would say, roughly about 15 pips. I'm oh, sorry, 11 pips, 12 pips. And <clears throat> then the market started to break down. And once it broke this structure here, I started to build my confidence a wee bit. And I marked out the next fair value gap. I'm expecting the market to maybe run up into it and sell off again, which it did exactly that, thankfully. Now, not always your plan is going to go to your plan. But you have to kind of paint a picture in front of you of what you expect to happen so you don't panic so much when it does. So when the market got to one to one, so my usual 20 pips, when it got one to one, I took parcels, I believe it was this candle here. Um, I took about 80% of my position off and I wanted to see a good push down which I got, and once it came to, once once this printed, once this pushed up a little and then broke down again, that's when I moved my stop loss to entry, and I picked this as my profit target, three to one, because I wanted to see it break these lows. I used <clears throat> the equilibrium through the 50% of this impulse move as another reason for the market to possibly come down and hit it. And this equilibrium is actually the full daily range right now. So I says, I'm not going to overreach. <clears throat> I'm going to go for something within my talent, within my psychological ability, because it is a psychological battle, this. And I'm going to stick to something that to me is realistic so again to run through very quickly the one minute once this broke down broke these lows i marked out these fair value gaps i'll just actually change that fair value gap and i used this second fair value gap as an entry just zoom it in a little <clears throat> but if you look i use this as an order block so at the base of this is where I entered. It's back in the market come up, you know, it could have broke down from there, but it didn't. And I used this as my last ditch hurrah, whether if it, if it closed above that, I wasn't going to wait till it came above and broke this here. It just wasn't. It's just not how I trade. So market came down. I do believe it was this candle or this candle. When it got one to one, 20, to 20, I took 80% off. Um, I came down, broke this structure, melted away a little. <clears throat> I moved my stop loss to entry because I would consider that around 75% of what the whole original move I was looking for. It came back up here. It reacted lovely. It just completely melted very quick off that and broke these lows here. Again, Give me more confidence to hold them and take profit to my ultimate take profit and again the market came up here into this for a value gap broke away again and finally hit my take profit of one to three or three to one whichever one you want to say it i think it's one to three is the correct way but my dialogue <clears throat> isn't always on point but it's hard for me to get stuff out of my head of how i'm thinking i just i can see it if that makes sense so that was today's trade. I'll just, again, use my executions, throttle them on and off, my entry, my first take parcels, and take profit. Um, <clears throat> as you can see, on and off. I'll leave them on for now. Um, we are sitting around, let me see. So these were the, this was the first partially took off and then this was the remaining partially took off today the 13th of december 2022 um <clears throat> we are so we started from a seventy thousand 
pound account and we are now on a 76,769 so that is roughly 9 9.7% um profit in I started on the 14th of November on the 13th so in a month you know 9.7% for me I am delighted with that if if I can do that every month um then I'll be I'll be more than happy. I can compound from there and grow my trade, grow my account. So I'm only point three off finish or you know passing an FTMO. And I know people say now oh, you've twenty days, but I do believe if you hit five percent within the first fourteen days, they will give you is it a ten day extension or something like that. Um. I can't remember, but oh, you know, possibly I would have got it within that, uh, and at least got a free retry, which I would be gutted if I went back to a retry because point three percent off it, I, I'm happy. So yeah, if nine point seven percent a month, I can hit. I'd be more than delighted. I can compound from there. I can I can go for bigger <clears throat> accounts and grow my money from there. So. Yeah, that's basically the rundown of today's trade. As you can see, yesterday's, I learned from yesterday's. Remember, I closed it when I should enough. That was human nature taking over, the fear of losing money. And um, this is what learning from past mistakes does. So I accumulated that back basically on this trade. It's almost identical. There's only... You know, 57 pence 39 pence the boots mostly identical so <clears throat> this is really today's profit so yeah just remember folks learn from your past mistakes don't be afraid to trade if it looks like you're getting an entry and in the right time then go for it because look how quick that market shifted up like everything would shout to you either to just keep buying <clears throat> but not right now not not when it breaks these lows and it leaves you too far value gaps and the possibility of this being an order block um it only makes sense to go for it and if you're wrong you learn from it and if you're afraid then this is your next center <clears throat> because you broke a few structures here you know here 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 and then it yes it does it comes back up you can put your fib on it from this high to this low you know you're you're getting exactly on your point six one eight fib retracement uh and it's a, a beautiful entry or if you're a wee bit more patient then this <clears throat> is a, the ultimate entry really and it, it's just low to room to grow like so as you can see I, i've room to grow where i can i can lessen my stop losses to say if i if i just says i'm just going to set above that for a value gap you know you're talking 15 pips and that trade goes from all or uh, one to three to one to four so yeah i'll just leave it that folks that's today's trading 9.7 percent up in 30 days practically uh challenge past and um, there's other accounts out there that are just eight percent and yeah it's just this is what i advise anybody that's learning to do is to paper trade and scratch that itch get get it out of your system that if you really want to just willy-nilly it get that out of your system and use paper trading as a way to do it um but eventually you're going to have to start taking serious you're going to have to come up with a plan you're going to have to come up with a correct edge for yourself and <clears throat> take it seriously like i don't like losing money on demo like what's i'm good i'm glad about because i don't that just resonates to me because i don't like losing money in real life and live accounts so it's a great way to it's just a brilliant way to set yourself up for the real thing and i'm not a big lover of back testing because 
back testing doesn't give you the real result i don't think it never really you know it's something you should do but it's something i don't feel really helped me because i was cheating myself whereas paper trading you're you're in the moment <clears throat> you know what you're doing you cannot back out of what you've done you you can't lie to yourself like on back testing you'll be going yeah i would have answered there would you have though would you have really entered there would you, you've really held that trade because every one of these candlesticks in front of you i'm i'm emotionally attached to because every one of them makes me a little nervous a little more relaxed a little nervous a little more relaxed um <clears throat> that's trading like trading is complete and utter psychology battle that you have to learn to win on this for me paper trading is a great way to do it <clears throat> back testing is a great way to look to see if the edge actually your edge works you know there it is there there it is there what entered there you know but to be in the moment of trading i think is vitally important so if you haven't done it um go to paper trading it's really easy to do it's if you're on trading view paper trading um i'll go to see list of brokers so it'll be up here paper trading you just connect till it and away you go so you can you can set your paper trading to uh trade settings i think is where you go to whatever whatever amount you want and um, i just want 70 because uh, you know of a hundred thousand a hundred thousand dollar uh trading account but that's equivalent to roughly between 70 and eighty thousand uh great british pounds so i just want 70 and i think ftm owes 70 as well so it just made sense for me to pick seven, but you can do whatever you want. You know, if you want to start in 10,000, then go for it. It is paper trading. So relax is a, it's a class way to learn. It's not going to empty your bank account, but it will empty your, your, your tank, your mental tank. Because if you come up with a list of reds, it's, in the matter of it's paper trading or not, that empties your mental account because that's not what you want to be saying. That's not going to give you confidence, but it will definitely improve your trading. No doubt about it, it'll improve your trading because then you get a feel for it. You get a feel for the moment and it starts to ingrain in your mind how you would trade if this was a live account right now. So I'll just leave it there, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. I would really appreciate now if somebody would give me a follow or subscribe because I'm talking to myself. And believe you me, that's pretty normal for me, to be honest. A bit of an introvert. So talking to myself is pretty common. And, uh, but it'd be nice just to get a couple of subscribers and a uh, couple of questions and if i can help i will definitely help so thanks very much hope you enjoyed the video have a great week and do not get downhearted no matter what your results were today keep at it keep going never quit this is a lonely journey yes you're on your own but think of the satisfaction on the life your life that will change whenever you finally figure this out so cheerio and god bless you all Good luck.